Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good Monday. My Monday's been pretty cool. I had to make a couple stops on the way home. Never puts me in a good mood. I always just like to come straight home from work, especially on a Monday. But I went to Total Wine. I uh, picked a lot of new beers that I've never had. Just grabbed singles, got like six or seven different things. So there's going to be a lot of cool new shit coming up. I've picked a few things. I'm going to step outside of my comfort zone a little. And unfortunately, none of the stuff I picked out was refrigerated. So, I went over to the fridge and I picked up the Barrel House Brewing Co. Stout. It's just called Stout. Not that special. It's too bad they don't have smaller bottles usually in the uh, refrigerated section, but I figured this would be cool to try. I still wanted to put a video up today, so I found something I think I'd like. Coincidentally, this is an oatmeal stout, so... Founders Breakfast Stout is not the only oatmeal stout. They weren't the first people to do it, or not the only people to do it. So uh, I thought since my last review was an oatmeal stout, it would be cool to try another one and give them a comparison. Now, I don't think I've had a Barrel House Brewing beer before. There's not a lot of information on the bottle, so I don't think it's barrel aged, which you would expect from a Barrel House beer. But I'm not going to be too picky. I'm not going to be an ass. We got a nice little bottle cap here. I'll show you what I pull it off. Got the antler. It's going to be a regular thing. Now this beer is a 6%, which is a little low for a stout. Here's that cap I was talking about. See, Barrel House Brewing Company. Big bottle. This is, uh, I think it said 22 ounces. Where did I read that? 22 ounces. 6%. I got my BJ's Club Glass, which I found out is a 20 ounce glass, so I'm not going to fit all of this, but we should get most of it. I wasn't even planning on reviewing a stout today. On Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, which you probably do, you, um, I asked for some recommendations because I wanted to do a review today, and one of the recommendations was a sour. And so I went looking for a sour and found a couple more sour beers, but like I said, they weren't refrigerated and I kind of have a busy evening today. It's my girlfriend's mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Donna. So I wanted to get something cold that I could review right away. I poured that a little aggressive. It's got a pretty thick head, but it's not very dark. It's like a light tan, like a khaki, I guess would be the right word for that. This is a pretty dark, but it's not as dark as the Founders was. I can still kind of see through it at the bottom here. You see you get a little bit of light through the bottom there, but it is still pretty dark. Just not black like the last couple ones I've had. And I'm kind of glad because it was a little too black. Like that Founders was good, but it was, it was black. Mostly getting roasted kind of smell from this. I really don't know what to expect. I've never even heard of this brewery before. This was just kind of off the wall, quick decision. I'll do more research for the other ones, but I just wanted to bang this out to get it out of the way today. Yeah, definitely some roasted notes, maybe a little bit of bitterness. That head has dissipated very rapidly. Look at me and my big, oh, I got a hair in there. I mean, it's not a big hair, but like, what part of my body did that come from? Anyways, let's take a sip. Wow, that's very different. That's very different. That's funny, you'd think two beers of the same style would be like noticeably similar. This is like a whole other animal. Like the only similarity it has in comparison to the breakfast stout is that it's a stout. Other than that, this is totally different. Where'd that hair go? There he is. Little fucker. I don't even know how to describe that. It's kind of weird. 
It's really mellow. No bitterness at all. Towards the end, I'm getting kind of a roasted character from it. But I don't even know how to describe that. God, that's weird. What is that? Okay. Um, I've really been thinking about this flavor for a minute. I don't know, it's just kind of, it's kind of lame. You know, it's not anything special. Typically when I do a review, I try to find, first of all, it's always beers I've never had before. I never review a beer I've already had. And it'll probably be a long time before I ever have to. But. Ah! <laughs> have you ever met a cat this loud before? Because I have not. He's literally like the loudest cat I've ever met in my life. But he's sweet. But he's annoying. So anyways. I always try to pick a beer with a distinct flavor. Because people who know me know that I have a tendency to be really bad at guessing the taste of things. Like I pick up like weird notes and flavors sometimes. So I always pick things that are like easy to identify, I guess. And just coming into this blind, it's weird. I don't even know if it's Odie. Like I just took a second to like read like a flavor profile and they said like cream and oats and like roasted malt, obviously, because it's a stout, it's gonna be roasted malt. But I don't think I'm getting oatmeal. I am getting some creaminess more in like the the texture, I guess, rather than the flavor. You know, it's not really thin. It's a little thicker, but not so thick that it's uncomfortable. I don't know how to describe that. Someone else needs to try this and tell me what they think. It's like a familiar taste. I just can't put my finger on it. I wouldn't even call it Odie. I guess it's probably oats, but it's weird. I guess it's not really bad. I think I'm just like kind of shook up because I wasn't expecting it to taste like whatever the fuck this tastes like, you know? I'm going to go against my better judgment and give you my horrible taste bud analysis of this. It kind of tastes like peas. And I've said that about beer before, but it kind of tastes like peas. I know no one else is going to get that because I know I have a weird tongue. Peas. Yeah, there's something kind of green to it. I mean, green in like a, like a vegetable kind of way, I guess. This review is not going at all how I expected it to go. <laughs> God. Yeah, I don't know if I like this. I guess the best way I could describe it, it's got some hints, some notes that are similar to things I've tasted in a red ale before, which I also had trouble describing, and like the, uh, that BJ's, uh, double ale, the Abbey style ale, kind of had notes I couldn't quite put my finger on, and I'm picking those up in this too, kind of. Maybe it's oats. Maybe I've never had straight oats before, and I don't know what oats taste like, but this is weird. I don't ever think I've heard of Barrel House. It's brewed in Paso Robles, California. So, I know Californians know how to make good beer, but like, that was just weird. I'm not gonna have that again. I don't think I'm gonna have that again. Peas. It tastes like peas. I like peas, but I don't like peas in my beer. I don't like pea in my beer either. 
Um, three out of ten. That was weird. That was I've never done such a spontaneous review before. I've never had such a weird outcome. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, guys, I just want to say that this was kind of warm when I drank it, so there's a good chance that it wasn't at the proper serving temperature. I really need to pay a better attention to that because I know you get the best flavor profile when you're serving your beer at the best temperature. So my review might not be totally accurate, but I still stand by what I said. This shit's weird. It's not bad. It's just weird. Yeah, I, I think that's all I got for this one. If you enjoyed my video, please leave a like. If you have tasted this and you have a better idea of what it tastes like and you want to shame me for not knowing how to taste beer the right way, leave me a comment. Let me know. Please. <laughs> uh, have a good night. Have a great rest of your week.